Ah, Master Radar. May I have a word? What did you need? Well, as you are, Talvishoth, people have asked. You grew up outside the Canary homeland, but... <sighs> there is no easy way to ask your thoughts on the cube. You can't take a breath in the Kune without someone deciding how long you should hold it. That's not a life for me. Many won't accept your word by virtue of your birth. People ask how a Kunari could be Andraste's herald. It worries them if they believe it, and angers them if they do not. Convincing them of your good intentions will be tasking. You'll think of something, Ambassador. I hope so. It will be interesting. Strangely, your mercenary work is not so inflammatory. People are fabricating extravagant tales of your heroics. There wasn't a group around that didn't want my help when a tough assignment came up. If you needed it done, Adar was at the top of the list. I noticed. Leliana found a letter from the captain of your last company. He had nothing but praise for your skill in battle, but doesn't mention what part you play. Captain Tully praised me? William Iron Ash Tully? That's quite the moniker. But yes, your captain went so far as to say he'd have lost entire battles without you. Just like the old man not to admit that to my face. Some people find it difficult to give praise, or find it in their interest to withhold it. Your captain did sincerely admire your skill in battle. He especially praises your last engagement. I was in charge of mercenaries storming the headquarters of the bandits we were to dispatch. We caught them by surprise. It was over before the sentries even blew their horns. That is impressive. I hope life in Haven doesn't bore you compared to such exploits. The giant pulsing tear in the sky does keep things lively. So do the arguments in the war room. Ah, our voices carry that far, do they? I must bring that up at the next meeting. I sent? Yes, thank you. your service.
to work? So, you're Ben Hazrath, huh? The spies of the Kunari. Oh, you've heard of us. I spent some time in Kirkwall. That must have been fun. You could say that. Iron Bull. I understand that among your people you are... What is the term? Ben Hasrath. Secret police. Spies, basically. You spied upon your own people. Is that so different from Orlais or Ferelden? They have all kinds of people policing them. What they say and do, yes. Not what they think. What you think is what you say and do. No. Even the lowliest peasant may find freedom in the safety of her thoughts. You take even that. Blackwall would have liked to have been here for this. Thank you. 
Nothing to report, sir. Good find.
Master Adar of the Inquisition. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer, or are you here for Duc Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Everything you've heard, completely true. Better and better. The Inquisition should attend more of these parties. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. I've never made any claims to holiness. What's your point? In front of all these people, you admit to being a pretentious usurper. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? He insulted my honor. I want him dead. And this, Marquis, is why one must always be courteous to one's fellow guests. Someone be a dear and clean this mess up. We can't have him cluttering up the dance floor. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Montsimard and enchantress to the Imperial Court. Charmed, Lady Vivienne. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Is your interest in the Inquisition, Madame de Fer, or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's professional, of course. What exactly can you do for the Inquisition? I am well versed in the politics of the Orlesian Empire. I know every member of the Imperial Court personally. I have all the resources remaining to the Circle at my disposal. And I am a mage of no small talent. Will that do? Does that mean you'd be aiding the Inquisition from the Imperial Palace? Ordinarily, I would be happy to serve as liaison to the Court, but these are not ordinary times. The veil has been ripped apart and there is a hole in the sky. It is now the duty of every mage to work towards sealing the breach. And so I would join the Inquisition on the field of battle. You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to whom? To the people of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, as some have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. So you're in favor of returning the mages to the Circle, then? 
Where else can mages safely learn to master their talents? We need an institution to protect and nurture magic. Maker knows magic will find neither on its own. What's in this for you? The same thing anyone gets by fighting this chaos. The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction. Are you devout? What's your opinion of the Chantry? I was a great admirer of the late divine Justinia V. The Chantry, at its best, unites the disparate cultures of Thedas and looks after its most vulnerable. Had she lived, Justinia could have accomplished so much. You are aware that the Chantry hasn't sanctioned this Inquisition. The Chantry is leaderless. They're in no position to officially sanction anything. Besides, my dear, if there is one virtue the Chant of Light teaches us, it is forgiveness. Once the Inquisition has sealed the breach, I am sure the new Divine will not care in the slightest about official permission. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. Anything I should know? The Lord Seeker's actions are a mystery, but the Templars will aid us. They cannot sit idle while the breach remains. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Can I help you? So how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. You know how it is. Even growing up Talvashath, your parents had to tell you about some of it, right? No names. I figure your parents chose yours the same way. Nice going on a dar, by the way. Weapon. I like that. But why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. Also, it's THE Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon, an implement of destruction. That really works for me. I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hasrath. Ben Hasrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems and fix their minds or make them disappear. And then you've got the spies. None of those sound exactly like you. Yeah, I was a special case. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me, trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. You seem like the type who enjoys a good fight. There's a good fight, and there's finding out who put rat poison in the bread and killed a bunch of children. I hunted down a lot of rebels, lost a lot of friends to the Vince, or the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashoth. 
One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. Turned myself into the re-educators. Not many people would have the courage to do that. I thought about letting some rebel kill me, but I couldn't give any of those bastards the satisfaction. The Ben Hasrath ordered me to go to Orle, ostensibly as a Talvashoth, and work undercover. That's how I ended up here. I'm glad you're here, Bull. Me too. If you ever need to talk more about all this, let me know. Nah, it was a long time ago. Thanks, though. You know Aunt Buck. You actually are a good rider on your Thank you. Heard you found something that had to do with Wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. I've been meaning to thank you. There are a hundred things that need your attention. You didn't have to take the time to help me. And yet you did. If the history you pursue benefits the Wardens, then it was worth it. I've never been more certain of my decision to join you. There will be opportunities for us to do even more in the future. Then I look forward to it. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit.